is Vanika Sharma and you can call me Vani. Well, today I would like to share a story of my friend, Vip Vikyu. Vip is a library officer and an environmental activities. I met Vip three years ago in a coffee shop. When I met him, he was really worried about his lactic baby. Not like this, but believe me, he was really worried because his electricity bill was much higher than the previous one. When I talked to him, because it was my first time here in Australia, I talked to him what happened and so on. So during the conversation, I got to know this thing. Being an environmental activist, he started with this thing, that in Australia, most of the electricity is being generated from fossil fuels. Because of the burning of fossil fuel, they are creating, emitting a lot of greenhouse gases. And these greenhouse gases are contributing in global warming. And being an environmental activist, he wants to do his part to save the environment. And that's what he do. He installed rooftop TV panel on his home. Initially, he was really happy with that. He was getting very good incentives. He was happy because he has done something to save the environment. But suddenly in 2016, when I met him, everything vanished. His electricity bills shoots up. And let's see what happened to my friend, Vip. Well, this is a home configuration of my friend, Vip. And as we can see here, his home is connected to a solar panels through inverter. And the home is connected to a grid as well through the meter. So what was happening when the solar generation was more than low demand during the afternoon? He, after serving his home, he was exporting everything to the grid at high feed-in tariff. And when the solar generation was less than low demand, such as in evening or in night, he was importing the energy from the grid at retail prices. So the total cost he was paying to the grid was like this. Whatever he was importing at retail price minus exporting at feed-in tariff. Well, the supply charges are not considered here, but this is the mainly charges which he was paying. So that's what he was paying, and this is what happens to him. Oh, sorry. Uh, so that's what happened to him in 2016. It's very interesting, and it happens to many of the South Australians. Well. That's a chart of feed-in tariff and retail price of electricity of South Australia. And we can see here in 2014, the blue lines, it is a feed-in tariff, it drastically dropped. Because my friend has installed the solar panels in 2013, he was in a locked-in contract to get the feed-in tariff. So what he was getting, he was getting this much feed-in tariff, around 25.8 cents. And in 2016, we can see, show, we can see here, in 2016, the feed-in tariff drastically dropped, around 6.8 cents. A massive drop it was. Well, I say 19 cents, you can say, what's 19 cents? But believe me, it makes a huge difference. 19 cents per kilowatt hour. He has installed five kilowatt of TV system and he is exchanging or importing, sorry, exporting half of its power his electricity bills increased by $500 in a year. It is creating a lot of difference just because of the volatility in feed-in tariffs. And being an electric, electrical engineer, what I suggested him to go for a battery, battery storage. Through the battery, he can store the solar energy, that excess energy which he was sending to the grid so that he can use that during the evening. In this way, he will avoid buying the expensive energy from the grid. So, in this way, he could save the money. But the challenge is, what would be the size of that battery he should use? What is the optimal battery size that would minimize his annual energy cost? Well, during my research period, I have taken this challenge, and this presentation is a piece of work from that. Let's look what I have done, well, I have not gone through only the Vip house because he's my friend. I have gone through four type of houses, as we can see here, in South Australia. So these houses are divided as per the energy consumption here. We can see, for example, my friend Vip lies in this area, uh, his household type. 
he is consuming 16.9 kilowatt hours in a day because they are four to five people so that's the household type which i have studied my study is basically for south australia so i have used the south australia solar data and the load data i have scaled it up and down according to my household requirement so there are certain input parameters which I have. For example, the solar data, low data, household type, if I'm going to install the battery, battery parameters, and lastly, the most important factor, tariffs, retail price and feeding tariffs. In this one, I have used the time of use tariff for my study. So the main objective is to minimize the annual energy cost. In case of FIP, annual energy cost was only this thing, total cost he was paying to FIP. But if he installed the battery, the annual energy cost will be the annual installment he will pay for the battery plus the total cost paying to the grid. Well, I am saying annual installment because I am assuming that we are not going to pay for the battery at once. We are getting some financial institute, he is funding us and that's why we are paying that installment. But that annual installment depends upon the size of battery, battery cost, interest rate and the lifespan of battery. I configure all these parameters in that optimization problem. I solved it. It's a linear optimization problem. I use Fmin bound toolbox of MATLAB and the results, believe me, they are so fascinating. Do you want to see the results? Yes. yes. Okay, let's see the results. Okay, the first result is for annual energy cost for different type of households here. Well, this is for 5 kilowatt PV system for the first. I have categorized that in three parts. The one, the yellow bar is for the owners of the household, those who don't have TV in the battery. Second, the blue bar is for the person like VIP who have only TV system. And the pink one are those who are going to install battery after finishing this presentation. <laughs> believe me, believe me, it, it's actually beneficial. So the blue one, as we can, the pink one, as we can see here, it is a combination of PV and battery and for low, medium, high and very high, it is the most beneficial case. However, the benefit is not that large, but it is the most beneficial case. Well, not only for 5 kilowatt system, because South Australia PV owners have a wide range of PV system installed because of their rooftop size, right? So I have chosen 1 to 7 kilowatt of PV system. And for different type of household, I have calculated the optimal battery size. Based on this optimal battery size and the PV size, the annual energy cost for these four type of households are given like this. Let's try to understand what these results are. They look, lean, uh, they look really nice, very beautiful. But let's say, see what we are saying. For example, in case of VIP, remember he has a 5 kilowatt PV system. So let's see what is beneficial for him. So the 5 kilowatt PV system, as we can see here, he is a high consumption household, having that much. So at 5, this is the optimal battery size, around 4.3 kilowatt hour, that could minimize his annual energy cost. And this annual energy cost corresponding to 5 kilowatt in a yellow bar is around giving $300 of annual energy cost with the PV and the battery, including the annual install. Well, not about only VIP, for other South Australians who have PV system with them, but because of feed-in tariff, they are going up and down, they are suffering, that is, this is the time to go for the battery. Well, one most important thing I would like to acknowledge here, South Australian government battery scheme. Yes. I have used only $350 per kilowatt hour, that's the battery cost. That is not cheap this much. I have used the solar, that South Australian battery subsidy there and with that subsidy it is possible to get battery which is making the system beneficial for every South Australian PV owners. Well at the last rooftop PV installation it is saving money. It is saving our environment but with the installation of battery storage it makes sure that the profit remains there. Thank you. Thank you.